everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an after the haul. A few weeks ago, I posted a video with Kate. We had gone to Ulta and I had picked up almost exclusively hair care products. I was really interested in trying out some new things that maybe would bring a little more shine to my hair. When you call your hair a lot, um, it can take some of the, the shine out of your hair. And I do color my hair a lot, so uh, I'm looking to restore some of that shine back in there. So the comments on that haul, there were a lot of comments of people asking me to, you know, do a follow-up video on the, the products that I liked the best from that haul. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start off with the shampoo and conditioner that I picked up. And I had picked up the Wella uh, Brilliance line shampoo and conditioner. And, you know, I've used it quite a couple of times. I've been using it probably less all this last week, almost exclusively. So while I think that does a nice job, and it does put a little bit of shine back into my hair, I don't think it's really much different from, you know, my Suave conditioner, shampoo and conditioner I've been using with the Moroccan oil. Moroccan infused. Infused with Moroccan argan oil. Whatever the heck that means. So, uh... I don't think it's vastly different from that. I I'll, I'll definitely will finish enjoy using it. I wouldn't say it's a must-have. So uh, it's a nice to have and I certainly I think if you're gonna try and want to try something new it's a good one to try. It's not bad. I just don't think it's any better than the Suave for a lot less money. So the next thing I'm gonna talk to you about is the Bedhead Dumb Blonde Toning Protection Spray. It's this violet colored spray. And you can see I've used quite a bit of it. And it, this spray is for all hair colors. It's really to help prevent uh, your hair from becoming yellow or brassy. Sometimes it can be that the type of water you have uh, where you live can, can contribute to that. The sun can contribute to that. Uh, swimming in a chlorine, chlorinated pool can contribute to that. And, uh, you know, if you, again, if you color your hair, I think it's just a natural progression. So this is supposed to help um, keep the, the brightness in your highlights or your blonde hair or your gray hair. Um, it really will work with any, uh, any color hair except for probably really dark hair. I like this. I have to say I really like it. I really I like the application. It's super easy. You just spritz it on after you come out of the shower and you're done. And in, I, I was worried that it might um, leave like violet coloring on my robe or my towels, and it doesn't. It's a fine enough mist, and you don't use a super ton of it. Um, so I really do like it. Do I think it's keeping my color brighter? I'm probably four weeks into this uh, color, and I think it's helped a little bit. Is it miraculous? No. But when you're spending a lot of money on coloring your hair, every little bit counts. And I like it and will probably repurchase this when I run out. I think it, it does a really, really nice job. And you don't have to worry. You know, they do have these violet colored shampoos and conditioners. And some of them are so strong that it, they can leave, you know, a little violet tinge to your skin. So this does not do that. So I do like that. Ease of convenience. So, uh, the other thing I tried was the John Frieda Luminous Glaze, the Clear Shine Gloss. This is for all, all hair colors. Um, it's a, just a very, it's a clear gloss, so it doesn't deposit any color to your hair, but it is supposed to be like a glossing treatment that you would get in the salon, which kind of seals the hair shaft and makes the hair a little bit shinier. So I've tried this a couple of different ways. There's two ways you can apply it. You can use it daily in your shower, where you would apply it um, after your shampoo and conditioner, and then you put this on and you have to leave it in for at least three minutes, three to five minutes. That's a long time in the shower when you're getting ready for work, I'm just gonna say, okay? Um, so I, I used it like that initially. And I didn't notice a huge difference. And it was an extra step in the shower when I'm usually jamming to get out of there as quickly as possible because I'm going to work. And so I didn't love it in that way. So I tried it the alternate way where you use it a little bit more like a hair mask or a hair treatment 
where you apply it to your dry hair and you let it absorb into the hair for about 20 minutes and then you take your shower and shampoo and condition just like you normally would. And I found that that was the most impactful. I really liked how soft it left my hair. I noticed a huge difference when I was blowing it dry. Um, you, you may be able to see some of the shine in there still through all the hairspray I have. So I do feel like it did infuse the hair with a nice shine. So I did like it for that regard, or I did like it using in that method. And for me, that's something I can do once a week, and it's not taking up more time while I'm getting ready for work. So at first I thought, oh, I was disappointed, but if you use it like a hair mask, I did really like it. And if I didn't need to use hairspray, my hair would be super shiny. Just saying. So the last product I'm going to talk about is probably one that I really am the most excited about. And that is the Garnier Fructi Style Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. Uh, as you can see, I've used a ton of this. And <clears throat> I've been applying it after I style my hair and apply the shampoo, and then I'll just give it a quick spritz of this. Just, just like this. And I really feel like this helps give a little bit of extra shine to my hair after I've used the hairspray. I find the hairspray is very dulling, but I can't, I can't live without it. I absolutely have to use it. So I do like this a whole lot. I really like this a whole lot because I just feel like it just gives a nice extra shine to your hair. Um, catches the light. It's really, really quite pretty. So I'm really happy with that. The next thing I'm probably on the hunt for is um, a hairspray that has some shining attributes to it because I think that's probably where my biggest obstacle is with my hairspray. As much as I love my hairspray, I think I need to find one maybe that is like a shining, has a shinier finish to it. So if you have one that you like, that you'd like to recommend to me, I would love for you to leave it in the comments below so I can check it out and see what I think about that. So uh, I look forward to seeing what your recommendations are. So that wraps up my after the haul video on some of those hair care products. I have um, decided to include a little retrospective of some of my hairstyles over the years at the end of this video, uh, just for your general interest and consumption. I thought it might be fun, so um, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you real soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!